Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting the MPAL M8 wireless earbud which I have it right here. Before I start that, I would like to mention that this is not a paid or affiliated review. All my reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest and there are no links and or I didn't take money from anyone. So you're going to get unbiased opinion and true reviews. So what happened a few months ago, about two months ago, I bought uh, Empow X3, which is right here. And this is an active noise cancelling um, earbuds. And this is a cheap earbud, just like this one. And I didn't expect much from the Empow X3. But once I, you know, opened the package and tried the earbuds, then I was blown away uh, by the sound quality and the active noise cancellation of this product. And that's what made me to buy another one which is the MPAL uh, M8 and uh, if you're interested uh, seeing the review of the MPAL X3 I'll, uh, there's going to be a link in the description box below uh, so uh, I just wanted to mention that you know this is why I bought this one because I was totally uh, you know what I didn't expect the quality and the price uh, combination from this and I'm hoping the same to get from MPAL M8 so I'll just uh, set the X3 aside and let's concentrate on MPAL M8. So the package uh, came like this. Uh, this is much smaller than the M, uh, MPAL X3. For example, if we just, you know, compare them side by side, then you can see that uh, X3 in a box is much smaller than, uh, I'm sorry, M8 box is much smaller than X3. And uh, they have mentioned some of the specs right here, but I'll go through over uh, those uh, shortly. And uh, the box is very minimal uh, designing and, uh, you know, there's not much here. But let, let's just take a look at here. So this is uh, up to 6 hours and 18 hours and charging time is 2 hours. And charging voltage is 5 volt and 1 ampere. And then uh, the base plus a stereo built-in microphone and hands-free operation. So I'll just put this here and I'll just go through my own specs right here, which I put it on an index card. So this one has Bluetooth 5.0 and this one has Apex uh, and Heavy uh, Base Plus. So Aptx is just a kind of codec for Bluetooth, uh, which you know compresses and decompresses without uh, affecting the sound quality. So it should be uh, better than a device which doesn't support Aptx uh, coding. So we're going to you know check that out here. Uh, the other one I showed you, Amp Ampel X3 didn't have Aptx, so this one has it. And then this is a CVC 8.0 noise reduction. So this one M8 doesn't have any uh, noise cancellation, but it has noise reduction for phone calls. So what it means that, you know, if you're using the earbuds to make a call or talk to someone, then it should cancel the noise for the other person to hear you better without any interruptions. And then uh, it supports two mic calls. So, you know, when you're talking to someone, uh, there are two mics and you can hear them on both earbuds. And the IPS rating is IPX7. And uh, that should be okay for uh, regular activities or general activities like rain, shower, and you can submerge in water uh, for one meter up to 30 minutes. So this should be good for like, you know, wearing the rain or sweat or shower or anything. And then uh, the battery life is, uh, 24 hour altogether, but the earbuds itself uh, have six hours and then the case has 18 hours So together it comes to 24 hours and This supports USB-C which is a good thing because you know these days you shouldn't be buying anything which is micro USB Okay, so let's uh, Open the box and take a look how it looks like Okay, so you can see that the box is empty and uh, I'll just uh, set this here and there's some 
brochures or manual inside the box and let's just take a look here okay so it looks like there's something else I'll just you know remove this and this part or this side looks empty so they attached a USB-C cable uh, which is a good thing and then uh, there's an important reminder uh, that you know it should be charged with using 5 volt adapter or USB port only uh, and then there is even a small brochure actually I'm sorry this one looks like uh, you know just to any invitation to join the MPAO's uh, VIP club but we do have a brochure uh, right here and let me just quickly open it okay so here they're just uh, you know giving some information and showing what is what so if you'd like you can pause the video and actually go through them but I'm just going to you know go over them uh, very quickly in front of the camera so you can just you know have a look or you can check it out later on okay and then here we have additional looks like additional sets of uh, earbud upper so let's take a look here okay so you can change these uh, if uh, the one which probably they already attached to the set doesn't fit you properly so you can just like you know change this which is uh, very flexible based on what type of uh, ears you have so I'll just set this aside now let's look at the case okay I'm surprised that the case is very slim I was expecting it a little bit bigger but this is even better because it doesn't feel like you know anything no weight uh, very uh, slim feature and very like you know uh, minimal uh, very slim feature and very tiny so I kind of like that and let's open it up okay so here we have the USB-C connector uh, and let's open up the cover and here you can see that you know you have to slide in the earbuds once you're done with it so I'll just put it here uh, just to compare the earbud of the MPOW X3 uh, what it looks like this one but this one is kind of different shaped but it's still like you know uh, this one not bad at all so now I'll take out the earbud itself so let's take a look Okay, so the whole thing is empty. Uh, I'll just set it aside here. So this is how it looks like. Uh, the first thing I'm noticing that it doesn't actually look cheap at all. So it looks, you know, premium quality. It's, it has. Uh, matte finish but not too smooth you know kind of like you know uh, very nice uh, it wouldn't slip out of your hand and on top right here it has uh, like you know a little bit uh, smooth finishing and so this is the right and this is the left so in terms of putting it into the charging case so you have to just you know uh, put it in here this way and it's magnetic so you just attract it and you have to put it in here this way and then you close it so what I want to try let me see if I can switch them okay when I switch them it doesn't fit so you have to like you know make sure that you're putting the right one in the right slot and the left one in the left slot
it looks like they're not charged because I don't see any light or anything so what I'm going to do I'm going to just you know charge them very shortly and then I'll do some like you know music testing and then I'll uh, tell you about the music quality and the or the sound quality I just finished charging for about 5-10 minutes and actually it uh, looks like it's fast charge uh, or if it's not fast charging even it charges very good uh, because you know I charge just a little bit uh, and then still I can you know I was able to uh, listen to the music and uh, make a phone call to test the sound quality so now what happens here when you open the tray or the cover uh, of the pouch then you can see that there's a little bit of uh, you know illumination right there or it lightens up a little bit on the top so let me see if you can see it so if you can see it here so you can see that you know there's a little bit uh, like a red or color uh, lights and then let's take them out so the pairing was really simple you know the phone picked up right away and then you know I was able to pair without any problem and uh, let me just go over some of the controls right now uh, and then we'll talk about the music quality so in order to control this uh, if you like you know tap uh, if you tap double tap actually uh, you can do volume up or down and it should work on either of them and then if you want to go to next or previous tracks then you have to just long press for one second and again you can do either on the left or on the right earbuds and then uh, play pause should be one tap and then uh, uh, if you want to answer calls uh, then you have to just one tap or you can hang up by using one tap too and then if you want to uh, reject calls then you have to just long press for one second uh, and then the smart assistant should work with uh, triple uh, taps so basically that's all the uh, controls uh, so I'll just you know hold it for a second and you can just pause it later on if you need to uh, go through these okay so now uh, let's talk about the sound quality or the make of this product so see the way it's designed uh, this portion which is right here this tip this right here it goes deep into your ear canal and same here this part goes deep into your canal and the ear cover they provided this is just works for me fine I didn't have to change it to the other one and it stayed very well in my ear uh, you know definitely I can do like you know swimming or exercise or everything it doesn't look like you know it's gonna come out or fall off so that worked well for me and uh, if you haven't if you haven't used this type of earbuds before then probably like you know first few minutes or probably I would say like in one day or two day it would feel a little bit uncomfortable because this is going deep inside your ear canal but then you know you'll get adjusted to it uh, so I got adjusted to it and it doesn't feel that bad now uh, or it feels okay and then uh, in terms of the sound quality uh, it has really uh, good sound quality which I was not expecting again because this is a very cheap earbud uh, I, I bought it for about $60 Canadian uh, but you can grab it on sale uh, it could be even lower so in terms of like you know what you're paying and what you're getting this is really a good deal uh, so let's talk about the base although they're saying that you know this one has a heavy base or base plus but I found out that you know the base not too heavy not too much it's gentle base and when there were layers of base uh, I saw the separation was pretty good you know uh, so it's not like you know it doesn't like you know blow your ear ears or anything uh, the base uh, uh, the base effects and the balance is really good and when there's a vocal in the music then you know you might get slight highlights uh, but it's, it doesn't like you know it's not too excessive or not too excess uh, uh, vocal still it's uh, in control or in balance so but you can you might feel the vocal a little bit and then um, when they are like in you know, special effects special details uh, it's fair and smooth again it doesn't uh, like you know uh, emphasize too much on special details so overall the sound quality or music experience is fairly good uh, you know definitely uh, a lot than what you'd expect from a $60 uh, Canadian earbud so 
my overall or summary of music or sound quality would be smooth, pleasant, and well balanced. So definitely, like you know, you're going to like it based and what you know uh, based on what you're paying and what you're getting. So definitely, there are no complaints there. So overall. I'm happy with the purchase and again uh, you know uh, in terms of the value and the price uh, definitely it exceeded my expectations just like the other one Impulse X3 and definitely I would recommend to uh, you know anyone and uh, the only thing I would say that you know if you're uncomfortable using this type of earbud uh, birds which are like you know which you stick close to your ears you might not like it for uh, for the first few minutes or even couple of days but then later on it gets uh, you know uh, adjusted and then other thing I noticed that uh, when you are putting it back in the case or in the box then it's kind of not it might take a few seconds to like you know put it the right way so it doesn't just happens right away uh, for example with my other x3 you just put in and it just absorbs it uh, very easy but this one is just like a little bit takes a few seconds longer but that's a not not a big deal now the voice quality on a call so i made a few calls and i was not expecting this uh, this actually uh, has noise reduction when you're on a call and it uses double mic double earbuds so you're going to be hearing like you know phone calls on both the uh, earbuds and the other parties told me that you know really they have very crisp clear um, sound quality no complaints no nothing so again that was not something I, I was expecting from a $60 earbud so I was really happy in terms of the quality of the music and the quality of the you know calls when you were on a call so overall, I'm happy with the product uh, and uh, I have no, you know, major complaints. Uh, the minor complaints, I already told you that the case is not, uh, it might just take a little few more seconds to put it in the right order in the case. And then if you're not comfortable with this type of earbuds, it might take you a few, like, you know, a few, some time to get adjusted to it. So thank you for watching this video. Forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. There will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.